What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about how to add Bricks templates into WordPress content. So I have a blog post here that I shared recently on my LinkedIn, and I wanted to add a little bit of flair to the blog post, showing a little bit about what I was trying to demonstrate. So I used a Bricks template and made this template right here, which has three cards and a title, and I wanted to place that inside my blog post just to give it a little bit more flair so that I didn't have to just use text or an image. I wanted to build something that looked nice with bricks. So this part right here is a bricks template, and I'm going to show you how to get that into your blog post. And it's actually really easy. So this will be a short video showing you how to get your bricks content into your WordPress content using short codes. All right, let's dive into the builder and see how it all works. Okay, so I'm currently editing a post. And what you'll see here is I added a short code element, which is a WordPress element here. And then I pasted a Bricks template short code here. And when I view that on the front end, you'll see that the template displays how I built it. So I'm not going to rebuild this set of cards. I'm just going to show you my workflow on how I will add this data into Bricks right now. Of course, when Bricks components come out, this could change, but this is my current workflow right now. So let's go to the WordPress backend, and I'm gonna to go to Bricks templates. And the first thing I want you to notice is the Happy Files folders here. And I have a folder called Blocks, and then a subfolder called Blocks for Blogs. And so what I do is I add a new template, test template, I'll delete this later. I'm going to select a section, so the template type is section, and I'm going to publish it. It'll take a second to publish, and then let's edit with bricks and just build something really quick to put in there. So I'm going to add a section with advanced themer shortcuts here. If you don't have advanced themer, I highly recommend it. They're currently running in LTD uh, right now, so highly recommend advanced themer. Lots of builder tweaks and upgrades to help your productivity. So I'm gonna quickly add a video element here. And you could make this dynamic with dynamic data and select maybe a custom field on your posts or whatever you're adding this template to to dynamically control this ID right here. But I just wanna demonstrate how easy it is to get this video into the blog post. So I'm gonna save it. And then I'm going to go back to that blog post I was looking at and edit it. And then I'm going to put it at the end here just so that we can delete it here in a second. And I'm going to choose short code. So you use the WordPress short code element so you can quickly just hit the slash button and type short code and that slash will pull up your WordPress elements. Or you can go to the plus sign up here and type in short code. But we want to add a short code element and you'll notice it's just an empty bit of text here. So we need to go find that template shortcode. So go back to your templates. Let's find bricks templates. It's going to be uncategorized. It's going to be test template here. And you'll notice that this is a shortcode. And if you click it, it'll copy the shortcode to your clipboard. So my typical workflow would be to put this in my blocks for blogs folder so that I know that here are all my blocks for my blog post, if I ever wanna grab that, I'm gonna click copy short code to clipboard. I'm gonna to go to my blog and just paste that in. Hit update. Let's go look at it on the front end. Zoom on down to the bottom and you'll see you've got that nice video added. So I'm running automatic CSS, which puts some section padding on all sections. So you'll notice that this isn't really lined up right here. And that's because in my template, I just have a section with all the default styling 
a container and the video. So if I really wanted it to just fit in line, I'd probably need to come over here and zero out that section padding on top and bottom. I'm not sure about the top and the bottom. Let's play with it and see what happens. But when I refresh the page, you'll see this is gonna like sync up with the rest of the content. And this now kind of has a fairly good looking padding. Maybe you wanted to add a little bit more, but I think this flows pretty well with the rest of the content. So I think this is a really great way to quickly get some neat content into your blog posts where you're using a blog post template and you're pulling in WordPress data into your blog post template. So let's, I'm gonna go delete that since this is kind of a live blog here. So I'm just gonna delete that and click update. And now that section is gone. Okay, so let's go take a look at the post template so that we can really hammer home how all of this is working. So I've got my blog post template here which has a sidebar on the left and then some dynamic data, my titles. But right here in the body of the post template, I have the WordPress content. And this type of template, using templates inside a template works when you're pulling in the post content from WordPress. So this element is the Word Pro, WordPress post content element. And that just means it's going to pull in all your WordPress data inside your Bricks template. So this type of workflow works best when you're adding templates into your WordPress content like this. So make sure you got your blog post template set up like so, and you can pull it all in dynamically using short codes. So that's what this video is all about. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. This is generally what I'm working on on this channel. Uh, dynamic data, making uh, our, our builder work with us and not fighting against it. So I hope you enjoyed this content and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. All right. Thanks and see you in the next one.